Hello and welcome to the final Extra Time show of this season. It's uh, It's been a long old season, we're just going to go through a normal run-of-the-mill episode, tell you what the players were up to after qualifying for fourth uh, for Champions League football. We had uh, the players on Twitter, the likes of Lucas Leiva, who said, I would like to thank everybody. It's been a long season, but we are happy to bring back Champions League football next season. Thanks for the support over the last 10 years. Um, and thanks LFC for the tribute. Nice to see Lucas Lever getting on the pitch and having a shot. We had Simon Mignolet posted on Twitter as well, saying, great feeling to celebrate with the fans after achieving our objective. Champions League, you'll never walk alone. If you're one of those fans, have a little comment and I'll say hello. Um, we had Daniel Sturridge who posted as well, saying, good vibes today. Champions League qualifiers to look forward to. Top class atmosphere today as well. And from him, um, the... The interview Sturridge done after the game didn't look like Sturridge was going to be going anywhere this summer. And from what Klopp has said, it doesn't look likely either. So uh, the players were out that night celebrating. We had Dejan Lovren who posted on Instagram a picture of him having a little glass of wine. Looking like he's like a bit half cut. The, the left eye's going. The left eye's going. Uh, we had the uh, Coutinho, Lucas and Firmino. They were out on the town. They were getting drunk and Moreno was popping his head in. And Firmino, as he always does for some reason, he, he's there with like a kind of soft porn pose with him and his beard. But you know what? Nice to see young love, isn't it? Um, we also had Dave Okarigi in, in this kind of strange thing. He said... Um, Thank you all to my Kenyan fans, especially the ones that made this. Truly appreciate this. I am proud <coughs> to be Kenyan. Um, said the Belgian right there, but no, he's got, got Kenyan roots, obviously. And uh, he's had a decent season. Don't forget, Divock Origi, he's only like 21 years old or something like that. So he, he, he's still doing well. And whoever's painted that on like a bus in Kenya, well done. You are a talented man. Shout out to any Kenyan fans over there. On Twitter, we also had Jamie Carragher. Having a bit of banter with Gary Neville as well, as you will have seen if you watched Sky Sports. Chelsea were handed the trophy, fair play to them. They, they definitely deserve it after the season they've had. Gary Neville said, wow, Cara in the Liverpool squad. going to be awkward for you playing in that defence. You've been slagging off all year. Carragher's going to be in a, in a little testimonial game or something like that. And um, Jamie Carragher said, can't be as awkward as when you were speaking to Conte yesterday about management. We all know what happened there. Gary, uh, would like to see Jamie going to management myself. Um, the under 23s and the under 18, under <coughs> 18s, excuse me. We've got a big stat show coming up, so keep your eye out this week. Uh, that is already recorded. Um, a wrap up on the loans. I know we did do about six or seven players last week. Um, the, the guys that come out smelling of roses in that was Ryan Kent, obviously, and uh, this week's superstar in. Um, in Danny Ward, who saved two penalties for Huddlesfield um, against and and. I don't know, against Chef Wed, and now they will go on to play Reading at Wembley. So Danny Ward, absolute blind, and he put on his Twitter, we're on the way. Um, a question to ask yourselves, if uh, I know we, we spoke on Sunday to a lot of the Redmen TV fans, what we do with Carius. Some people are saying, put Carius out on loan, get Danny Ward back. Danny Ward should be the Liverpool number two. Uh, we had Taiwo Awonye. Um, he scored three goals in three in like a relegation playoff. So I don't know. All of a sudden he's hit a purple patch and hasn't been able to do so in like the six months prior to that. But you know, good on him getting a goal. Mamadou Sacco, just always nice to see pictures of him. Got Ben Teche at the centre as well. Um, yeah, he, he was getting about the, the mission accomplished, I think he put for him. And he got player of the season. Strange. Um, Yes, yeah, so we had our American correspondent, Ryan Scott. He said, Brooks had two assists and a hell of a cross to Sargent and a 90th minute equaliser with a Z in it. And the equaliser, man. Um, Sargent is fucking legit. Uh, don't know who that guy is, um, Sargent. But uh, yeah, Brooks Lennon playing in the under-20s World Cup out there. Playing really well. And you know what? Good luck to, to him. And hopefully America will do it. Because um, we've got a lot of American fans, so hello to all them. There was a guy who said, howdy from Texas, hello to you. Um, yeah, so the transfer targets of the week. Then we had Adriano who said, uh, Liverpool fans have been trained to care about wages and net spend. So what if Sturridge is paid a certain amount and is on the bench? It's called having a strong squad, strong and stable squadlership. Um, our cheap ass owners are the problem. Um, so we had, <coughs> yeah, you know what, I kind of agree with that. Other clubs like the United and Cities and, and Chelsea's are like, they are bringing on 30-odd million pound players and, and we we can't do that. We, we've got one of them out on loan. Uh, Suj 
Kawapaja, such Kawapaja. Uh, he said, what do you think about bringing in a tall centre forward for the teams that sit back? And that was a good point. So I've had a little look. There's a guy who I'm going to bring up now. He's good forward, good header of the ball. Um, <coughs> will probably only cost us about 30 odd million. To be honest, it's um, Christian Benteke. No? Not going for that. We're not going for that. Um, how's about it? Lacazette and Aubameyang. I want a guy that plays on the shoulder. The storage of old is exactly what we want, but the st a storage you will be fit. Lacazette, Aubameyang, the, the, the poachers, the clinical, the fast, and they just know where the net is. So get one of them in, leave storage on the bench. I personally would want to be spending that money on a top, top class striker. If storage is your third, Choice striker, you have got really good striking options, so that's all I will say there. But there's a lot of transfer targets and, and, and speculation to come up over the summer, which we will be doing. I think I'll be having a little part to play in that as well. So, uh, comments of the week we had uh, I Salt said, uh, I like the show, but please stop replying to hate messages. It's like throwing fuel on the fire, which uh, we'll, we'll try and end up with a bit of love. He said, uh, Senesad Gfinity said, love the show, keep it up. And Huli Manco said, good show, cheers, bro. So uh, they ended on a bit of love there. Obviously, we had the terrible news on Monday about the terrorism attack in Manchester, which, you know, for a show like this, it is hard to discuss, particularly when it, it's light-hearted and it's banter. And a person like me, I, I kind of use comedy as, it's not like a, a coping mechanism or a defence mechanism, but... The world's a bit shit sometimes, isn't it? And you, you, you try and have a laugh, but it's nice to know you, you've got certain legends of, of the club showing support and showing unity and showing sympathy. We had Robbie William, uh, Robbie Fowler put on Twitter. He said, unbelievable with what's happened in Manchester. Hope the bastards who did that rot in hell pray for Manchester. Ian Rush put, just horrific, pray for Manchester. And Michael Owen said, so sad to hear of the tragic news from Manchester, especially when it involves so many children. Thoughts are with everyone effective. And yeah, that, it is what it is, isn't it? When a club rivalries, city rivalries, the, the, the go by the wayside when things like this happen. And, and who am I to say anything about it, about something so tragic? But um, yeah, uh, the thoughts of, of, of the all football, football and family go, go to these families and the emergency services and things like that. So. Yeah, it's not, not a nice thing to have to speak about, but sadly we do. And um, for anyone who's been affected by that, our thoughts are with them. Um, a sombre way to end the show, but it is what it is. Um, like, subscribe, take it easy, but most of all, be safe.